what she'd be willing to do, what she'd be willing to, to lose just to hold her little boy in her arms again. You know why I'm here. I had to make sure that Barbara was entering a guilty plea. Well, then it looks like we are all here for the same reason. We... Well, I knew you couldn't stay angry with me. For... I wanted to make sure you heard me the first time, that you signed the plea bargain and do something right for once in your life. Well, this hasn't been executed. I just finished reading it. So, you gonna sign it or we go to trial? Yeah, she's about to now. Barbara, we've been over this document line by line. You've agreed to all the terms. It's very generous. And you need to sign this so we can all move on. I don't know what you're asking. Oh, for God's sake, stop being so melodramatic and sign it. Please, Mom, you said you'd do this for me so that we could start over. Time she kept a promise. She doesn't care about you, Will. All she cares about is herself. That's not true. Barbara, you understand? This was a limited time offer, your last chance to avoid a trial, and a minimum 10 year sentence in a maximum security prison. I know you want me to sign this. And I would, honey, if I thought that it would help you. But I'm innocent. That's a lie. And if you think I won't testify against you in court, you're wrong. I never wanted to hurt you, Will. But you did. Mom, you humiliated me. And, and worse, you made me doubt my own sanity. And, and why? So, so I'd be driven back home? I kept you out of jail. And this is how you repay me? You drug Emily and sick her on Rosanna? It wasn't me. I think they should bring back public hangings. What do you think, Hal? Hope they'll have a guillotine? We can sell tickets on eBay. Paul, you think you can take Will home to your house? Yeah, absolutely. Come on, Rosanna, let's go. We're here. Actually, um, why don't you take Will, and I'll make sure everything here gets, you know, taken care of. I'll handle things here, Rosanna. You're going home. Uh, don't you think that maybe you and Will need some time together? I think we should all be together. This is a celebration, after all. Barbara's going to go to trial and be convicted and spend a decade in a very nasty jail. No hand tails where you're headed, Barbara. You're gonna have to wipe your hands off on your own clothes, and they won't be Barbara Ryan originals. What you have to look forward to is a one-size-fits-all future. Honey, I'm gonna get my car. I'll see you at home. Sweet dreams. Although I'm not sure you're gonna be able to rest, knowing what's coming. You have one option. Reconsider. Take the deal. Maybe you can salvage your future. What do you mean she didn't sign? She has to sign. She's guilty. Yeah, well, in Barbara's universe, it's fun to delay the inevitable. Oh, so what does that mean? Where are we? We're going to trial. And you're going to have to testify. Emily, are you sure you don't remember anything about my mom and, and the tea and her asking you to come over here with the, the stocking No, doll? no. I wish I, I wish I did. What about the cups and saucers? We, we've got them, and the traces of the drug are on it, and her fingerprints. Barbara's lawyer will say that we planted the drugs on the cups and saucers. Emily, you've got to try to remember. We can't let my mother get away with this. There's no real question here. We all know that Barbara drugged you. The problem is proving it. Right, beyond a reasonable doubt. But given the fact that Barbara's not a doctor and she wouldn't know how much of that medicine to actually give you, it is reasonable to assume that the effects would wear off. A reasonable person would think that you would regain your memories, whether or not you actually had. But I tried that. Remember, she called my bluff. 
Yeah, well, that's Barbara. She's never reasonable. I I'm talking about a jury here. It is reasonable for a jury to think that you had remembered, and Barbara knows that. Wait, what are you trying to say? That Emily should lie on the stand? No, I'm saying that Emily should threaten Barbara with lying on the stand. That, combined with the evidence that we actually have against her, would be enough to, to make Barbara be scared that she would be convicted. So I tell her I'm willing to lie on the stand. And she will crumble. And take the deal. Tom, Not Tom, now, uh, Roseanne. Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to speak to Barbara for um, a minute. Just a minute. I think I can persuade her to sign. It's okay. I hear what she says. I'll have an officer posted outside if you need him. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Did you tell him anything? No. But if I stick to your strategy, I go to trial. But before trial, I have to stay in jail for six months, which wasn't part of this deal. That's not going to happen, okay? Just tell me everything that you did. Where you got the drug, how you got Emily to take it, and what you told her to do to me, and I will make sure that you are exonerated, okay? What are you doing? Okay, off with the coat, up with the sweater. Wait, uh, you're insane. No, yeah, and you're a fool if you think I'm going to let you entrap me. You think I'm wearing a wire? Why else do you want me to confess? To defend you. How can I prove you're innocent if you don't tell me what you did? My child's life is at stake here. And so is mine. You saw the look on Will's face when I wouldn't accept this deal. He hates me because of you. I thought I made this clear. We can both have what we want if you just trust me. Why should I trust you? You hate me too. This is not about you, Barbara. This is about Cabot and freeing him from James. I would do anything to free my son. I should think you of all people should understand that. Just tell me what you did. All of it. You can go to jail. Yeah, well, we're hoping it won't come to that, Will. If I can pull it off, if I can do it and convince her that I'm angry enough to perjure myself, I think she'll take the deal. So do I. And then there won't be a trial, and, and, and she'll go to jail for at least a couple and of years. we can get on with our lives. Okay. Go for it. Let's get this over with. Where did you get the drug? First, you tell me who these high-priced lawyers are and how they're going to get me off. There are no lawyers. You were on the phone with someone. Who was it? I was just trying to get your attention. It was for show. There was no one on the other line. Oh, I see. So without some dream team working night and day, how are you going to persuade them that I didn't do it? By convincing them that I did. I thought you were coming straight home. Now give me a call when you get this, okay? She must have been more upset than I thought. Where could she be? I don't know, Will. I'm gonna find out. You sure that Emily will never remember you drugging her or hypnotizing her? Well, that's the beauty of this drug. All I did was I gave her a post-hypnotic suggestion that she wouldn't remember anything, and she didn't. I've gotta hand it to you, Barbara. You're a clever girl. You know, you might use it on her yourself. Maybe you could persuade her that you were the one that did all those things. I don't know. Rosanna, what are you doing here? Rosanna's car still isn't in the driveway. Have you seen her? Not since she left for the police station. She should be back by now. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hey, it's Paul. Again, listen, it's late, and I thought you'd be back by now, so call me when you get this, all right? I'm starting to worry. Is anyone going to answer my question? What are you doing here, Rosanna? The same thing that you're doing here, harassing me. And you know what? I won't take it from either one of you. I'm not going to plead guilty to crimes I did not commit. Well, I, I couldn't leave without trying. She's a waste of breath. I already told you that. 
But she's a mother, too, Emily. That's what I find so hard to forgive. You know, I have a child that I lost, and I would do anything if I could just hold him again. And here you are, with the chance to do the right thing, the one thing that would get your children back, and I... I just... Oh, jeez. Oh. Rosanna. 